For this lesson, we'll focus on creating a countertop and a cutout area for your sink within your kitchen. I drew two rectangles. This rectangle, if I select the bottom horizontal line, you can see the whole rectangle highlight. Escape. If I select this one, you can see that it's just the bottom line. This one was created with the rectangle command. This one was created with the line command. And there is a difference between the two and its importance. If I use my 3D orbit and orbit enough, I'm going to extrude these up in Z by simply start to type, no clicking anywhere, start to type the word extrude and select extrude, or you can select the enter key. It's asking us in our command line here to select the items to extrude. In this case, I'm going to select this rectangle. This one over here, I'm going to select the four lines that created the rectangle. Then I'm going to select enter because I don't want to select any more objects. And you can see through our preview, and I'm just going to randomly give a height and left click, that this is the importance of having a full connected object to keep a full solid extrusion. This one here, you can see that it extruded just the four lines since they're not connected on the corners. If I come back to a top view then, and I delete my rectangles, then I can start creating what I need for the countertops. In this case, it's probably easiest to copy the area, kitchen area, and just keep the kitchen cabinets. In our previous lesson, we were taught the front drag and the back drag. In this case, as long as I capture just the base cabinets, I'm going to select the copy command, which is in your modify panel, right below move and rotate, two that you've been using quite often. So three little circles. If I left click on that, I'm going to do a big front drag and anticipate. If I capture more, that's okay. Click, click. Since I don't want to capture any more, I'm going to select enter. My command line asks me for a base point. It doesn't matter. As long as I left click somewhere and then put it left click out in the screen. Select escape. In this manner, it looks like uh, another window came up. I'm going to select that, <laughs> select delete. Here, I'm going to delete everything that's not the base cabinets wall cabinet, wall cabinet, wall cabinet, wall cabinets, the range, this little wall. So here, I find myself in need of just the countertop in this area. I'm going to do a 3D orbit just so you can visualize a little better on what we're going to do. We're going to trace this area by means of what's called a polyline. Polyline is underneath line, and it looks like a fish hook. Anytime I click someplace, it's going to be a full connected object. If I left click on that and start anywhere, left click around the outside perimeter of your base cabinets. And this is where I started, left click. I'm going to select the escape to end that command. Now I can delete the base cabinets as those are not necessary for the rest of our countertop creation. I do, however, want to keep the sink. The sink's going to need a cutout. I'm going to take a rectangle command, or you could keep doing the polyline command and just drag around the sink. I'm going to create a rectangle. Left click, and left click. And I can simply select the sink then and hit delete. All this is okay because my good area is over here. I'm going to use a 3D orbit just so you can visualize exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to extrude first my custom created countertop and type an extrude again. Select the form that will create the countertop and select enter. In this case, from the previous lesson, the sink 
and the cabinets were inch and a half apart. So I'm going to type in 1.5 for my extrusion height and select enter. My kitchen sink, I need to make a solid to then create a void. So I'm going to type in extrude again, select enter, select the rectangle, select enter, and randomly drag it through my countertop. And I'm going to use that to create the void. I'm going to now type in subtract, S-U-B-T-R-A-C-T, -T, enter. I need to subtract from my countertop, enter, this big solid, enter. And you'll see it creates a void or a hole where that solid was. I am going to pick the countertop up, and I'm going to pick it up at one of the corners and place it on one of the corners. So if I pick it up here at the lower left corner, and you can stay in your zoom commands as you do this, I'm going to hit move, and I'm going to select the countertop. I'm going to select enter. I'm going to pick the lower left corner of my countertop, use my wheel mouse. I'm going to use my orbit, my pan, and anticipate the drop right in this corner. I'm going to select escape. And you can still see that I'm still in my move command. Now, although you cannot see a preview, as long as you see that aperture for your object snap, you can left click and we'll snap in position. Using the orbit, you can see now I have a custom countertop with the sink cut out. This ends this part of the lesson.